Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, part three of today's video. Uh, May 7th of 2020. We're still uh, in Unit 8 work. Um, so, we're gonna, as I said in the part one, we're going to do uh, some exercises uh, related to uh, writing about our skills. Okay? So, uh, let's do this exercise together. Complete the sentences. So, number one, Jack is a truck driver. He works at a factory. He can blank a truck. He can blank a map and fix a car. Number two, Nancy is a cashier. She can blank a cash register. She can blank. Len is an office worker. He can blank two languages. He can blank bills. So I want you to pause the video and um, use the word box here. We have the word cook, drive, pay, read, speak, and mute. Use, use them to fill in the blanks and uh, complete the sentences. Once you're done, resume the video and I'm, I'll be going over it with you together. So, um, assuming that you're done, uh, I'm going to go over this. So Jack is a truck driver. So lesson number one, Jack is a truck driver. He works at a factory. He can blank a truck. So it's a truck driver, the truck driver. And what are some things that you can do to a truck? So his skill is going to be here. When we look at the words here, it's going to be drive, right? And it's, it's easy to decide that because we look at here. I mean, you can't cook a truck, can you? You can't pay a truck. You can't read. Can you read a truck? No, that's not how it works. Can you speak a truck? No. Can you use a truck? Use um, is a verb that uh, it could work with a truck. But more be the better word for this kind of uh, um, situation is drive. Because if we use drive, uh, we use the verb drive. For a vehicle, right? So I can drive a car. I can drive a truck. You know? But use is in general. Drive is more specific toward vehicle. So here we want to use the word drive. So he can drive a truck. And the word can is a phrase that we use to show uh, the ability of that uh, to... Oh, sorry. You, the, the, the word can plus the verb is going to show someone's ability. So his ability is to drive a truck. D-R-I-B-E. And then he can blank a mat and fix a car. So another, um, he has two more skills. Uh, he has two more skills, sorry, he has. Um, uh, so his one is to fix a car. And one is something a map. So what can you do a map with a map? Can you cook it? Nope. Can you pay a map? No. But sure, we can read a map. So it's R E A D. So Jack is a truck driver. He works at a factory. He can drive a truck. He can read a map and fix a car. So. Here we can see, this. so this is what we did in part one. Part one, we wrote, um, well, I wrote a paragraph about my occupation, who I am, and um, I listed my skills, right? And this is what Jack uh, did. So in third person, we're talking Jack in third person. So it's Jack is a truck driver, his occupation. He works at a factory. So where he works at, so, and then this is showing his skills. 
Oops, sorry. So here he has uh, three skills. He can drive a truck, he can read a map, and fix a car. So number two, Nancy is a cashier. That's her occupation. Nancy is a female. She can blank a cash register. Here, what should we use? And then she can blank. So we want to use here. I think it would be better to use. Use. She can use a cash register. And then she can. What else she can do? Can she do? Let's see. So we use. Look at it. She can cook. She can cook. Uh, number three. Uh, Len is an office worker. He can blank two languages. He can blank bills. So uh, we have two um, verbs left. And perfect one, uh, I mean, for number uh, the second sentence, he can blank two languages. You want to say speak? Speak. Two languages. And finally, he can blank bills. Bills their money. So what do we do with money? Sometimes we receive them, sometimes we deposit them, sometimes we pay them. So as an office worker, his skill involves paying bills. Right? So here Nancy, her occupation is cashier. So she needs to uh, she must have skills, something related to a cash register, and then use is a perfect verb for it. And then uh, we have a, a verb cook. Uh, the reason I put cook here um, is because when I look at question number three, it says Len is an office worker, right? So his occupation is an office worker. But office worker, their skill doesn't involve being cooking. And here she's a cashier, but she could be a cashier at a restaurant. So she might know, she might have the ability to cook. So that's why I use the word cook here. And then um, and another, another way of thinking is if the verb cook just doesn't fit anywhere else. That's why. So we have uh, Jack is a truck driver. He works at a factory. He can drive a truck. He can read a map and fix a car. Nancy is a cashier. She can use a cash register. She can cook. Lex is an office worker. Oh, sorry. Len. Len is an office worker. He can speak two languages. He can pay bills. Now, I want you to um, do this. So, so um, here I have complete the paragraph. So it's a similar exercise that I did on uh, in the part one video uh, where I introduce myself and I tell them what I am. Um, so here you're, you should be able to make your own uh, verbs or skills to uh, fill out this uh, paragraph. So I want you to do that. So here I'm just, I'm just uh, for myself, I'm just going to make an imaginary person's occupation. So I'm going to say, my name is Eric. I'm making this up, okay? Eric. I am a... Let's see, what do you want to... Let's say... Let's, I'm an uh, engineer. Engineer. I work at a. Uh, what's the famous uh, engineering company that everyone would know? Um, oh, so we don't need a here. Let's say I work at Apple. The 
Does everyone know what uh, what Apple company is? You're like iPhone, uh, MacBook. It's built by a company called Apple, and they have a lot of engineers. So now I have a good work skills. I can, as an engineer, um, we, uh, I'm just going to use basic stuff. I can use use computers computers and I can What other skills I can use? Computer. Oh, I can use a computer, and I can. Oh, fix. Oh, you want? I'm going to use the word create. I can create programs. So P R O G R A M S P R O G R yeah, it doesn't look like a it's programs. So this is what I wrote. My name is Eric. I am an engineer. I work at Apple. I have a good work skills. I can use computer. Oh, I can use a computer and I can create programs too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is how I completed the paragraph. I hope you did it uh, a little bit different. Okay, and then, uh, so this is for the writing part. Uh, I mean, the, uh, for the part one of the video, we, this is an uh, exercise for uh, practicing uh, writing about skills. Okay, and now we're going to, um, do uh, exercises for filling out a job application. So, okay, now um, here I have a job application that was filled out and then we're gonna just read it and answer the questions. Uh, so read the application, answer the questions. So. Same thing um, that I showed in uh, lesson lesson F. So here I have a job application filled out. Application for employment. Gina uh, Guterres. So I'm even I'm having a hard time with the last name. But here we have social security number zero 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 nine nine four three two one. We have address. So this is where you have a personal information. Uh, 6, 6457 South Main Street. Uh, remember that's how you read the address for this kind of occasion, 6457. Uh, Houston, Texas 77012. Phone number 281-555-5670. This is a cell phone. Position desire. This is the job uh, that I'm uh, Filling out the application for manager. That's the position that I want, or that she wants. Sorry, that Gina. Gina is a female. Employment history. List most recent jobs first. We have dates, employer name, uh, address, and position. So, in the first uh, row, we have to list the most recent jobs first. And for Gina. It was from January 31st, 2013 to present. So it means that she's still working at this place. And the name of the employer is Sales Bar and Grill. 
and address is uh, 192 Park Road, Houston, Texas. And she's still working as a cashier. This is cashier position. Um, before this uh, being a cashier, uh, before um, as a, in, uh, working at Sales Bar and Grill, she worked at a ABC Electric Company here from July 28, 2011 to January 31st, 2013. So right after she, um, so her previous job was here, this one, and then she changed her job to a cashier on the same day here. So this is where her job ended for being a, a, at ABC Electric Company. Oh, this is not make Wait a second, sorry. I'm gonna use a black one. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna use a black one and a green one. So, previous date, and then after she was done, she moved her position to here. So, ABC Electric Company, 46 West Street, Houston, Texas. And then previously, she was an office worker. So, she was an office worker, and right now she's a cashier. And um, she doesn't want to be a cashier anymore. That's why she's uh, applying for a new job. And her position, the new job position, is being a manager. So, looking at this, we're going to answer these questions together. So question number one, what is Gina's address? And if you want to look at Gina's address, we're going to have to look for the personal information section, which is right here. So Gina's address is 6457 South Main Street, Houston, Texas, 77012. So city, state, and zip code. And this is the uh, street address. Number two, what is Gina's phone number? Phone number is right here, 281-555-5670, right? We don't have to say, we don't want to say um, zero when we're talking about phone numbers. Uh, we learned that way in the beginning. Uh, number three, what is Gina's job now? Right now, Gina's job is a cashier at Sal's Bar and Grill. Number four, what was Gina's job before? So her previous job was being an office worker. So Gina's job before was office worker, was an office worker. Number five, what job is Gina looking for? She's looking to be a uh, manager. So right now I didn't write anything here, but um, this is, so I just, just told you the answer, but if I were to write it as a paragraph, this is how I'm gonna write it. So here, so I just wrote a paragraph about Gina uh, Gutierrez, Gutierrez. Yeah, I can't say her last name, but uh, I'm gonna skip her last name, but I'm just gonna read this. Just Gina, is looking for a job as a manager. Her social security number is 00099-4321. Her address is 6457 South Main Street, Houston, Texas, 77012. Her cell phone number is 241-555-5670. She was an office worker at ABC Electric Company from July 28th of 2011 to January 13th of 2013. So here I talk about her previous job using the uh, here phrase was. Now she works as a cashier at Sales Bar and Grill. So now here I use a now to talk about her job right now. So. So this is where I talk about her previous job. This is where I talk about her 
job right now. And here, uh, oh, here, here, looking for a job as a manager. This is the job that she's looking for now. So this is another paragraph I kind of um, wrote to help you understand, um, better understand what she's doing right now. And her, um, to go over her um, history and then uh, the position that she's uh, applying for. So um, that's it for uh, part three of today's video. And that's also the end of unit eight work. Um, uh, and that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.